Good evening, my fellow scientists. It is Sunday, June 17th, 2018, and I would like to update you on the all-iron battery. The all-iron battery has an iron anode and an iron salt cathode. You can check out a previous video to find out about that. The current problem is how do we construct a separator? So a separator membrane is what is allowing the charge on the anode and cathode to balance while still preventing electrons from flowing through the cell, and rather forcing them to flow through the load. Obviously, it's a pretty important role to play in the battery. Last week's episode talked a little bit about how that allows the battery to function. What kind of chemistry is good for a separator? One of the better membranes that I have available to me is Nafion. Nafion is a sulfonated polytetrafluoroethylene. So what does that all mean? Let's start with polyethylene. Polyethylene is the common milk carton type of plastic, has a chemical structure of CH2 groups all lined up, seems a lot like wax in terms of its chemical reactivity, but is cross-linked to make it stronger, it won't melt. Polytetrafluoroethylene is just like polyethylene, except it has four fluorines on it. That Those fluorines make it far more chemically inert, it really dislikes water. A lot of the super hydrophobic surfaces are based on tetrafluoro groups, and if you want to take this, which is essentially Teflon, and convert it to a nafion substance, you add these sulfonate groups, which I've drawn with a little red there to show that negative charge. That negative charge carries a hydrogen, so it is able to react or, or carry an H plus ion through its structure but it completely prevents water from entering the structure. That means it's a pretty good barrier to just aqueous conductive ions, doesn't allow electrolytes to enter its structure, but it does allow for H plus to pass through itself, thereby balancing the charge on two sides of a cell. To examine the process of leakage through that separator, that is to say self-discharge, or the way in which the cell is just going to ruin itself over time, we rigged up this system with just two carbon electrodes and then two different concentrations of that same iron two to iron three chemistry on either side. So on one side, it starts at all iron two, on the other side, it starts on all iron three. And eventually those are gonna reach equilibrium where all the iron two and iron three concentrations are the same on both sides. And as iron diffuses through there, we're going to see the cell potential drop off, which is exactly what happens with the nafion membrane between there, you see that the cell comes to steady state, chemistry arranges itself around that membrane, and then slowly falls at about 0.2 volts per day versus an open cell potential of 0.25 volts. So we expect to see it fully discharged over the course of 24 hours or thereabouts. Agar cell one seems to have a much lower voltage. That's probably because it's actually discharging essentially immediately as it penetrates through the agar upon setting up the steady state, and then it loses you know, 0.8 volts. So over the course of two or three hours, it will lose all of its potential. So we need something a little better. Nafion is definitely better than agar, but we can examine polyacrylamide coacrylic acid, which has some of those same properties of nafion. That negative charge hopefully will help allow some ions, but not charges. Speak is another option, sulfonated polyether ether ketone, which we will try to get a hold of if we can. So tune in every week for our updates on battery separators and battery construction. We will continue to try to find a DIY friendly alternative membrane for this particular kind of battery. It's kind of looking like we may have to go to a commercial source or a commercial chemistry, but I'll try to find a nice cheap option in any case. Thank you very much to Nico for his hard work this week, and we deeply appreciate the support of our crowdfunders who make this summer research possible. Stay tuned every week. We update on the all-iron battery, and I will see you then.